You're impossibly fast and strong. Your skin is pale white and ice cold. Your eyes change color. And sometimes you speak like, like you're from a different time. You never eat or drink anything. You don't go out in the sunlight. How old are you? Seventeen. How long have you been seventeen? A while. I know what you are. Say it out loud. Vampire. Are you afraid? No. Well, you should be <laughs> messing around with vampires like that. Kristen Stewart plays Bella Swan in Twilight, and Catherine Hardwick is the film's director. It's uh, morning to you both. It's, morning. It's, I don't, don't want to give too much of the plot away, but it's fairly obvious that actually you're getting on with him quite well, and he's not all that he should be. Yes, that's true. Mm. <laughs> that's very true. Yes, he's got a very pale complexion, hasn't he? That's a bit of a giveaway at the beginning, really, too. Well, he's it? British. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> that's Robert Pattinson. You guys don't have true. sun. We don't have much sun here. No, that's true. Although he doesn't sound British in the film. He's uh, he's obviously American. He plays an American, doesn't he? Tell us a little bit about the plot. Well, it is kind of like, a, in a way, a Romeo and Juliet, but with vampires. Where instead of the two families that hate each other, you have mm. two species, two different species, and so it's an impossible love, a forbidden love. Mm. And it, it, in some sense, um, comparisons have been made rather outrageously, we felt, with, with the, the Harry Potter series, because it, in fact Nothing they're entirely different. It's got a bit of sort of, you know, special effects and, and, yeah. and that sort of thing, but apart from that, there's really no similarity at all, except for the fact that there will presumably be more films after this one, mm -hmm. assuming, of course, that your character manages to survive, because I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's Is written right? four other books, Stephanie Meyer has. Mm. Yeah. And, uh, so presumably the sequels depend on the outcome of this one. But well, this so far. the next one is going. Yeah, okay. new one's going to go in the beginning of next year. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So just to get back to the plot, then you move to a strange town to be with your dad because your mum and dad split up, and it's very cold and wet there, and you don't get on with mm. a lot of the people when you start. And then an interesting family group moves in called the Cullens. Now tell us about them. So apart from the fact they're very pale, <laughs> uh, the Cullens are. Um, it's funny because they're supposed to be uh, seemingly perfect and mm -hmm. like bafflingly beautiful and everybody's sort of in awe of them and they're very unapproachable and uh, Bella is the last person in the world she I mean if, if they don't talk to anybody else then, then there's no way they're ever gonna ever speak to her and uh, the first day that um, that she meets Edward one of one of the Cullens um, obviously this guy uh, <coughs> They they have like an instant physiological like draw. They can't. It's it's undeniable and actually quite scary because um, he looks like he wants to just like rip her apart right at, right like right in the classroom. And uh, they uh, they are nice people. <laughs> they're quite. <laughs> the well, they don't have fangs. Actually, they're, 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 that would have been the giveaway, wouldn't yeah, it? They, they have fangs. They don't have fangs, right. and they're actually vegetarian vampires. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As so often happens, really. Um, you know the weather's not been very good in, in the north today, so let's have a look at how not to drive in bad weather and what the consequences can be. you get over to me so fast? I was standing right next to you, Bella. No. You were next to your car. Across the lot. You went your head. I think you're confused. You stopped the van. You pushed it away with your hand. Well, nobody's gonna believe you. I know what I saw. You're not gonna let this go, are you? No. I wasn't gonna tell anybody. I just need to know truth.
Mm. It's a good thing he's good looking because you have to do so much eye contact with him in this film, don't you? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they change, they go black, then they're brown, you never know where his eyes are. Uh, Catherine, I wonder whether you thought that this was a sort of specifically a teen movie because we've had like, just just one email from a 54 year old mother of two who's baffled by the constant references to it as being for teen. She's sophisticated, she says she works in a bookshop, she finds the books absolutely engrossing, They're not for everybody, but the story goes way beyond the protagonist's ages. Well, I, I never thought they were just for teens, mm. and neither did Stephanie Meyer when she wrote it. She wrote, her, it was her dream, and she wrote this down, and then I guess the booksellers put it in the teen area, but it's really gone beyond teens. I know people of every age that are addicted to the four books, read them all, you know, in a row, and then have seen the movie up to eight times. Eight times? I met one person on the second day in L.A. of opening. She was about 40, and she'd seen it eight times. Mm. Really? It's, a, what is, it's a very... It's a very moody film, isn't it? There's lots of glowering going on and lots of atmosphere and cool. tons, tons it's of angst. Cool. It's very cool. Yeah, yeah, it so is. So you, you can go back and sort of assimilate more of it, I guess, yeah. from, from time to time if that's your thing, really. The success of it, though, must have astonished you. I thought that, you know, in the books, you really can get drawn into this, like, m amazing world of the intensity of their love that you feel like you're mm. almost intoxicated. And I wanted to create that atmosphere mm. in the film, too. Mm. Yeah. You are just 18. Mm -hmm. uh, you had a big film with uh, Panic Room, of course, a, a few years ago. But I mean, how many films have you made now? Um, You've lost count already. Yeah, I, or something. I, I think about fifteen. Maybe. No, really, already. Yes. You started what you picked out of what we call primary school. Is that where you first <laughs> spotted? Um, yeah, school? I was in elementary school. I was in. Um, I think I must have been in like the fourth grade. Okay. Fourth have, you, gra have you managed to keep up your education throughout all this time? Yeah. Uh, I'm clear you know how to read and write and <laughs> form sentences. I mean, do you go to school or, or, or? That's what? required. Um, you know, yeah. she has to do you know three hours of school a day. Mm. You know, and so not well, I did before I turned 18. On my 18th birthday, yeah. my Christmas or my Christmas present, my my birthday present was a 20-hour workday and, and a cake in the shape of a clock. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's quite funny. We said, um, happy birthday, now you're going to work nights. You can make a lot more yeah. use of it now, you see. You don't have those yeah. pesky working conditions. And lots of 20 hour days to come, of course, uh, with the sequel, so wish yes. you all the very best. Look forward to that. Yeah. Thanks. Thank Thanks you. very much.